hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a product screen for app using html and css here you can see we have added the product title then review and after that you can see the main product image here you can see we have the select size option with the hover effect and after that we have the select color option then we have the price and this add to cart button we will create this design using html and css so let's start this video here in this folder i have one index.html file one style.css file and another folder called images and in this one you can see i have one product image and some icons that i will be using on the website you can find all these images download link in the video description now i will open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding box sizing and font family these css properties will be applicable for all the html elements in this html file i have added this link tag href style.css so this will connect the html and css file next we will add code in the body tag so here let's add a div with the class name container within this container we have to create a top bar where we will add one back arrow then some other icon so here let's add one image with the img tag write the file path so image is placed in the images folder then write the file name of the image it is back.png and after that we will add one class name so it is arrow img after that we have to add two images on the right side so here we will add one div and within this div let's add one image images slash hurt dot png here also we will add the class name hurt img let's duplicate it and here we will change the image it will be dot dot png dot img class name after adding this let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see these icons at the top left corner let me close this browser and i will open the browser with visual studio code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically you can see the same web page again let me come back and here in this css file here we will add body and in this body we have to add the background color so let's add the background this color code after adding this you can see the background is dark blue color let's come back and here we have the class name called container so let's copy this one write it here for this container we will add width width will be 350 pixel after that we will add the position it will be absolute then top then then left and transform so it will move the container in the center of the web page after that we will add the background so its background will be white then let's add the border radius then we will add some padding and color it will be the text color after adding this let's come back to the web page again in this white box we have the arrow and other icons let's come back and here you can see we have added three images so let me group all these images in a div so let me create a div with the class name top bar and within this top bar i will add this image and these other images also with a div so we have all these images in a div called top bar so now we will add the css for this one so just copy this and come to the css file write it here and uh, for this one we will add display display will be flex 
and then align items will be center after that we will add justify content and there will be some space at the bottom 20 pixel now you can see first image in the left side and other two images in the right side let me come back and here we have the top bar and in this one we have added another div for that div we will add display then align items and here you can see we have added different class name for all the icons which is arrow image heart image and dot image so let me add all these class name one by one so for the first one we will add arrow img and here we will add width width will be 25 pixel let me duplicate it it will be heart icon heart img width will be 20 pixel and after that we will add dot img for this one the width will be 5 pixel only and there will be some space in the left side so margin left 15 pixel now you can see the perfect size for these icons after that we have to add the product title so let me come back to the html file and after this div which is for the top bar which is closing here here we will add a title in h1 after this title there will be some reviews so here we will add a div with the class name review in this one we will add one star icon so i am adding img file path it is star dot png and after that we will add text in p tag 4.5 after adding this let's come back to the web page again you can see this title and this review so we have to add the css for this one so just come back and here we will add dot container and h1 so for this title we will add the text align it will be center then we will change the font size and font weight so this title looks good next we will add the css for the review so here you can see we have the class name called review just copy this one write it here in this css file here we have to add display then align items justify content and after that font size in this one we have one image also which is a star icon so here again we will add review space img for that star icon here we will add the width and there will be some space on the right side so margin right now this review is also looking good after that we have to place the product image for that let's come back to the html file and after closing of this div which is for the review here we will add one image so i am adding one image here images slash file name is image.png and here we will add the class name product image and after that image we will add the text in s3 which is for the select size and then we will add some option of different available size so here we will add one div with the class name select size in this one we will add a span and in this span we will add the size it is a small for us let's duplicate it it will be m l xl and one more double xl and after that we will add another text in s3 it will be for select 
color and again we will add a div with the class name select color within this one we will add a span and here we will add a class name which is color 1 let's duplicate it and here we will add the different class name color 2 3 4 5 and 6 after that you can see we have this product image then select size and select color we have to add the css for the product image first so let's come back and here we will copy this class name product image write it here in this css file and here we have to add the width width will be 100 percent then we will add the margin and border radius Now this product image is looking good. Next we will add the CSS for this text which is select size and select color. So it is in the H3 tag. You can see it is in H3. So let's come back to the CSS file. Here we will add dot container S3. In this one we will add the font size. Font size will be 16 pixel. Then we will add font weight. Font weight will be 600. And after that we will add margin top it will be 10 pixel now the font size for this text is looking good next we have to design the button for select size which is small medium large so let's come back and here you can see we have added these size in a span tag so here we will add this class name select size write it here and here we will add span display will be inline block then we will add text align and uh, width and height it will be equal then we will add line height line height will be same as the height of the block and after that we will add the font size font size will be 14 pixel then we have to add the border border will be 1 pixel solid and this color code let me add the border radius it will be 10 pixel and after that we have to add some space so we will add margin you can see it looks like a button next we have to add the hover effect on these buttons so let's come back and copy this one here we will add hover and whenever we will take cursor over this button we will add cursor pointer then it will change the background also so let's add the background color code here and the color will be white which is triple f then box shadow 0 5 pixel 10 pixel rgb a and border it will be 1 pixel solid and this color code which is in the background after adding this again refresh the website and here you can see if we take cursor on any button the background color is changing and we can see the shadow also after adding this we have to add different colors here just below this text for that let's come back and here you can see we have added the class name select color and in this one we have these spans so here we will add select color span let's add display then we will add the margin after that we will add width and height then 
then we will add the border radius it will be 5 pixel and cursor will be pointer after adding this we have to add different color in each span so let's add this class name color1 write it here and in this color1 we will add the background and write first color code similarly we will add the different color in all the span here we will add color 2 3 4 5 and 6 and here we will change these color code after updating the background color code let's refresh the website and here you can see different color blocks after adding this we have to add one price and one add to cart button so let's come back to the HTML file and here after closing off this div which is for select color here we will add another div with the class name price in this one we have to add a price in p tag then we will add one link in a tag that will be a button so here we will add the link text which is add to cart after adding this you can see this price and add to cart link at the bottom so we have to design it so let's come back and copy this class name price write it here in the css file and here we have to add display align items justify content then we will add margin now you can see this price in the left side and add to cart link on the right side let's come back and here we will add the same class name again then write p for this p we will add the font size it will be 22 pixel and font weight 500 in this price we have the link with the a tag so here we will add price a and text decoration will be text decoration will be none then we will add the background color will be white which is the button text color and font size summer space inside the button so it will be 12 pixel and 25 pixel and border radius after adding this let's refresh the website again and now you can see this price looks good and this button is also looking good so finally we have designed this product screen for mobile using html and css if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video